All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today our topic is about who is the one who built what it's called today Al-Aqsa Mosque. And uh, uh, it was actually a Muslim challenging me to prove to him from Islamic books that uh, Jerusalem belonged to the Jews and uh, the Aqsa Mosque belonged to the Jews too. And he said, I challenge you to provide me uh, with any reference and I accept only reference from Islamic books and this reference should be published in official Islamic uh, website because he said as long as I cannot reach the book to buy it and you know get however you can reach the book the book I'm going to quote for you you can even buy it in English so who is the one really build what it's called today Al-Aqsa Mosque. Is that really a mosque, as Muslims claim? Who is the one who built Jerusalem? You know, the Muslims, they claim that uh, David and uh, Suleiman, they are kings. Okay, what is their kingdom? Any Muslim can tell me what is, where was the kingdom of Suleiman, which means Solomon? Where was the kingdom of David? I mean, it's very foolishness of you Muslims to talk about a king, his name is Suleiman, and a king, his name is David, but yet you refuse to tell us where we can locate their kingdom. You know, a king, he have a kingdom, which means it have a location, can be found in the map. It, you know, he have a nation, and he is one of this nation. And what is the name of his nation? Now, first, before we go, let us give definition first for uh, Suleiman and David. Who are they? According to Islam, not according to me, you know. Uh, when I say not according to me, it doesn't mean I don't agree or agree. I'm just giving you what the Muslims believe. So if we go to the Muslims, uh, you know, uh, believe, we will find the following. We will go to search dot com search the truth Islamic website and we go to chapter 6 verse number 84 you can click at any translation you wish all right <clears throat> and then you will find here it's speaking about Abraham Allah talking supposedly that he gave Abraham etc things and then we gave him Isaac and Jacob all right and this is the Muslim translation and all three which mean Jacob Isaac and Abraham guided and before him we guided Noah and among his brogni David and Solomon okay among the, 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 the children of who the children of Jacob this one does not go to Noah no it says speaking about the three of them they are guided but before them we guided Noah and among his children's it is David and Solomon and Job and Joseph and Moses all of those are Jews all of them all right now hold on the Quran is mentioning four names in front of us and those are supposedly according to the Quran the children of Jacob, the children of Isaac, or Isaac. That's wonderful. This is all just the roots of the Jews. All of them, they are coming from Abraham. 
Thank you very much. So now we do not need to prove that David and Solomon they are not Arab, they are not uh, from India. They are, you know, it's very clear. The Quran saying clearly that those are the childrens. Jacob is the one who his name later is called in the Quran as Israel. Israel. The Quran, as usual, is a funny book because it's a copy paste. Uh, suddenly. Uh, the name Israel appear in the Quran with no introduction and nowhere in the Quran it says who is this guy Israel but you can find in the hadith that Israel is Jacob but you cannot find in the Quran the first time it appeared in the Quran in chapter 2 verse number 40 where it says Ya Bani Israel O children of Israel however this statement O children of Israel is reported all over as you see in those verses chapter 247 uh, chapter uh, 283 uh, chapter 2 1, 122 and even this chapter actually says this verse it says that the Jews are the superior they are the superior chosen people by Allah so when the Muslim they say that the Jews they think they are superior and they are fascist the fascist is your God if this is what you believe for he is the one he said that I favor you upon all the other creatures and you can read any translation you wish you know now as long now we showed you who is Jacob who is uh, 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 David who is Suleiman all of those are uh, you know the children of the Jews all right okay so now how we can prove that this is not a mosque this is was the temple of the Jews if we can't find out because remember the Quran called the Jews Jews <laughs> you don't call them Muslims <laughs> Never call them Muslims, which is funny because the Muslim they say to us that Moses was a Muslim But the whole Quran never called them, you know the Jews anything except Jews So why he did not call them Muslims If they are Muslims It's just additional stupid thing, you know the Muslims they are copy paste nation and they have no idea and nobody want to do like a, a heavy duty research and study and ask serious questions so who is the one who built this mosque and who is the one who built Jerusalem? We will go to a very important Islamic books. This is Tafsir al baghawi official government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the University of King Saud. You see it? The website in the top. I hope it's uh, it's showing to you. Dot education dot sa. Tafsir Baghawi, Surah 27, Ayah 21. You see it in the, I think it's very clear on the screen, right? There is no excuse. So now we want to go here and see what, what this is speaking of. Now, uh, um, I, I could not find the English one. There is English translation, but it's a book. I don't have it. You know, you have to pay for it and get it. I don't have it. Uh, however, uh, we will do the simple method we always use. This is the interpretation. Seven one very very chapter actually. I advise everybody to read it because you will die from laughing at this stupid cult. It's called Islam. It's full of fictions and fairy tale story and 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 uh, uh, Muhammad is copying from the legion jinns of uh, of the Jews and he is putting it in the Quran and he is he's claiming that his God told him those stories. However, here we will see. It says, if you remember in the Quran, chapter 22, verse number 20, uh, 27, verse number 22, uh, it's speaking about the bird. His name is Al Hudhud or Hupu. Uh, he left, and uh, Suleiman, he said, if you don't give me an excuse, I'm going to make him a barbecue. I'm say, Allah, do jihad against him, which is very funny and stupid. And then this Hudhud, he, he went far away and he found a woman, she have no hair in her legs. And he came back and he told him she is a queen, she have a very big uh, throne. And they, her people worship the sun, blah 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 blah. But this is not really our interest today. The funny story is not the part of our uh, purpose. Here it says, 
وكان سبب غيبة الهدهد عن على ما ذكره العلماء أن سليمان لما فرغ من بناء بيت المقدس أوبس وات 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 The word bait is used in Arabic as a word mean house. All right. Uh, some Muslims they might say here the house which is talking about it is not Al Aqsa Mosque. Okay, what it is then? Bait Al Maqdis. This is something they copy from the Aramaic. Bait, like we say, Bait Lahem. You know, Bait Lahem. Uh, Bait Lahya. Beit, 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 it's all over the Middle East. All of those are Aramic names, and the Muslims, when they occupy those you know, uh, uh, countries, they use the same, almost same names. So it says here, when, and the reason for the absence of the hudhud, which is the bird, as it's mentioned by our scholars, that Solomon, when he finished from building the house, the holy house, Baytul Maqdis, the holy house that is the temple of Jerusalem which is the Muslims claiming that this is belong to them it is in their in, in their books this is the official government website of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia this is not my statement I will take copy and I will go to Google translation let me copy everything because it's funny, you know, so we can laugh a little bit. That's enough for here. This is about uh, when when Suleiman he he fly with the flying carpet and blah blah blah. All right, let us translate <clears throat> English. All right, let us zoom in. As you see, which we just uh, did copy paste only, nothing more, nothing less. The reason for the absence of the hubu is on, uh, like you know, uh, uh, according to our saint test, which means the ulama, the scholars, that Suleiman completed the construction of the holy house. Do you see it? <laughs> I'm not the one saying that. So who is the one who built your mosque? You claim it is a mosque. This is the temple of the Jews. It's in your books, and it says there that he is the one who built it. I mean, how stupid you to be a Abdul, and you ignore. I mean, are you are you going to are you going to say that this is scholar Al Baghawi and many of them actually Al Baghawi is just copying what the ulama, the as you see here, it's, it's, it, the translation called them scientist. Hmm. The scholars of Islam, all of them agree that the one who built the holy house, Baytul Maqdis, is Suleiman. And who is the one who built Jerusalem? According to you, Muslims, David and Suleiman, both they built it. But both of them, they are Jewish. So even your books, says it clearly that this is the land of the Jews not to mention not to forget to mention that chapter 5 verse 21 in the Quran it says it clearly that Allah he assigned this land to the Jews we will go there after we finish reading this story however here in this story as long as we prove already what we wanted to, to, to prove that this is a city built by the Jews and the holy temple of the Jews is built by Suleiman and this is belong to the Jews so you Muslims have no right to claim that this is your land it's a lie, and even your books have proven you as a liar. But here you will see how the fictions of Muhammad is very all, all over. You will see here that Suleiman he used to go and march with his army, which is contained jinn, genies, and a human. The translation here of demon is not correct. It says shayateen. Muslims don't have demons. Remember that. Many many Christians they are confused about the word genies and demon. Demon are not genie. Only naive one, he say that. Genie is a creature who eat and he have sex. And he have a physical being, body. So don't 
uh, uh, confuse yourself and be a you know like uh, sometimes I have to keep my keep repeating myself even those who claim to be minister they keep saying a demon it's not a demon this is a genie the Muslim don't believe in demon they don't have demon in their in their religion genie is a shaitan the shaitan is one of the genie and he is made from fire and gas and the funny Allah is going to burn shaitan who is made from fire by fire anyway let him go so he marched with an army made of genie and the human and shaitans the reason it says genie and shayateen because Muslim believe that some of the genies are shaitans they are from the same kind but some of them they are Muslims so those are the Muslim genie additional to that Allah he gave him the, uh, the, the uh, he gave Suleiman the power to subdue the shaitan and even he used to to uh, to, to cuffs them with the chains and he forced them to do diving for him etc as well as we read in the Quran in chapter 27 you can read it there and birds and this Suleiman he used to slaughter every day five thousand uh, cow uh, and bulls and uh, five thousand, uh, uh, you know, male cow. I mean, every day, every day. I mean, this is his meal. This guy, he eat like crazy, and he invites his friends. All right, I'm not going to say anything. Let it as it is. So, for the Muslim who challenged me to show him from his Islamic books that this is the land of the Jews, I think we did that already. And now, just to finish. Because we quoted chapter 5 verse number 21 we will go to the Quran again and we will show you how even the Quran confirm that this is the land of the Jews and it is a land only assigned to the Jews here you see in the whole Quran the word Muqaddasa which is uh, 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 routed from the word holy the word holy mentioned in the Quran chapter 19 verse number 19 is speaking about Jesus as a holy person and Muhammad the Quran speak clearly that he was a very filthy sinner here it says ya qawm idkhulu al-ard al-muqaddasa allati kataba Allah lakum wa la tartaddu ala adbarikum fatanqalibu khasirin chapter 5 verse number 21 your safari translation all right oh my people enter the holy land which Allah has assigned into you and turn not back etc so Allah here is asking the, the, the Jews to go and do jihad and kill whoever live in that land for this is a land it was assigned by Allah to you so even Allah saying it clearly that this is a land assigned to the people who they are the people of Musa remember and then Allah he was so upset from the Jews because when he ordered them to do jihad and kill whoever lived there and the Muslim they claim this is the land of Palestine which means they are Palestinian according to the Muslims because they refused to go and kill and attack Allah he made them lose their way for more than 40 days in the desert before they can reach that land again only two men from the followers of Musa's accept to do jihad and the Quran called them as a blessed two fearing men who they are bestwood by Allah grace or Allah he bestwood his grace on them they said assault them in the proper gate so those are the good Jews is the one who killed Palestinian according to the Quran a good Jew according to the Quran which Allah bless him is the one who accept and he like to kill as much Palestinian as he can those who refuse to kill the Palestinian according to the Quran are filthy and disobey God and this is why Allah he made them therefore because they refused to go and do jihad hmm? they said to him oh Musa's we will remain here you go and fight with your uh, those two guys you know you the two guys want to fight with you go with them we will remain here so Allah was so upset because they refused to do so so what he did Allah he cursed them and he said therefore will the land be out of the reach for 40 years so the punishment was only to be away from the land for 40 years and that's it still the land is their land this is your Quran Muslims deal with it thank you very much for watching if you are new to our channel feel free to subscribe to so you can watch more videos and if you have a Muslim he dare to debate me please let me know and I hope soon we will have our live broadcast again after I finish my trip God bless you all Christ is Lord
a slam made by a fool for the fool are you the one it's up to you thank you very much